you guys noticed in 2024, there has been a content strategy change with a lot of guys that were in the red pill. And that would even include guys like Andrew Tate. A lot of these guys were talking about women, and to be fair, they still do, but a lot of them have changed over into the conservative blueprint. Most of these guys now are big time Trump supporters or somehow even involved in the alt-right, even as non-whites. This is true for Sneeko, this is true for Andrew Tate, it's true for Myron, it's also true for another guy, Tommy Sotomayor. Let's get back to the fresh and fit guys. As much as these guys talk bad on black culture and what happens in the black community, a lot of these guys still get disrespected in these white spaces. Can I make this interesting? Can I make this interesting real quick? Myron, you were in my space the other day, and I said, you know, you're doing a great job calling out these Jews, but... You know, if we take this country back, we want it for white folks. And would you go home and you said, I was born here and I'm not going anywhere. And this is where I think the problem is with working with non-whites is that once you think you help us, that you're just going to stay in our country. Do you still stand with that answer? Bro, you look, man, I know you're trying to get a clippable moment here for your. No, it's uh, the truth, man. This is this is the like, issue how, with whites working with non-whites. We're over here talking about a problem. Then you bring it right back into, you know, this whole white thing. Like, dude, shut the. This whole white thing is what built this country, Myron. 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 Even when they're being an ally. I mean, just imagine you're trying to be an ally to another group of people that you want to impress, and you're still not getting accepted based on the fact that you're black. But this is also the case with Tommy Sotomayor. Tommy Sotomayor was one of the most successful African-American YouTubers on planet Earth, and he made a lot of money off the black community. He was much bigger than what he is now. For those of you who can remember Tommy Sotomayor in his heyday, he used to make as much as $40,000 a month just off of one YouTube channel. And he had like seven or eight. So that just goes to show you how important Tommy Sotomayor was in black YouTube. But he started trying to grow too fast. So a lot of his content went towards, you know, just talking about the black community. So just obliterating the black community on the behalf of, let's say, some racist people in the white community. And then, slowly but surely, we saw the decline of Tommy Sotomayor. He got deleted off of YouTube. Then OnlyFans stopped the show. That's right. He actually started a booty clapping career on OnlyFans, which was short-lived. And this is after Tommy Sotomayor talked so much trash about black women, but kept getting them pregnant. Booty clapping sounds! That's what happens when you're a fraud. You do everything the wrong way and then never learn from your mistakes. But then Tommy Sotomayor tried to change his career. Tommy Sotomayor tried to basically rebrand himself as a black conservative, a friend to Fox News Network. He was gonna be the black guy that basically told the truth about the black community, basically trying to reclaim his career in the same way that Candace Owens did. Tommy Sotomayor is a radio show host. Tommy, uh, you are my envoy to black America. Johnny's my correspondent, you're my envoy. Will the chicken summit be effective? No, because let me tell you something, Jesse. He forgot to bring watermelon and grape drink. Now, if he had brought watermelon and grape drink, that would have completed the trifecta. But he felt like we only like chicken and we need these things in conjunction with each other. And I'm just sad that he decided to carry it a little farther and say, let me get a hamburger so I can let you know I'm different than you. I don't know if you heard that part. He decided to have a hamburger. He didn't want none of that Negro food. He did not want the chicken. That's for sure. For sure. For sure. She even did it again. Let's bring in the director of Fatherless America, Tommy Sotomayor. Tommy, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to say darn when I was nine. I have a 17-year-old daughter, Jesse, and she has never in her life have I ever heard her say a cuss word. I actually let her watch this video, and she said, he needs a spanking day. <laughs> and, and, and it's just so crazy. But I think, Jesse, this is really the... If you wanted to boil it down to something, this is the bigotry of low expectations. Because like you said, the Chiefs kid, they're all on him because of what he perceived did. But this boy is rapping about murder, and we know that gun violence in the black community is high, especially here in Atlanta. And that's where I heard that the boy's from. The black-on-black -black crime is high. Where's BLM? Where are the liberals saying, 
hey, he's on videos with guns talking about shooting people. Why aren't they saying, hey, this is uh, precisely why we need more gun control? More gun control. More gun control. More gun control. But again, this fell on deaf ears. Tommy Sotomayor became what we would consider old and washed up with no more success to happen in the future. His best days are behind him and he's taken a catastrophic fall. Probably one of the biggest falls I've ever seen as a YouTuber in my career. The only other fall that's this big is a drum roll, please. Fresh and fit. Now, let me kind of get into this because this is gonna be a two-part video for me. There is a big situation right now with this young lady by the name of Alicia. She posted her boyfriend or her husband on her uh, Twitter. And of course, a lot of people were um, not happy about it. Some people were, but you saw a lot of black women being upset about this. And of course, a lot of white men. And wanna know who got pissed off for all the negative comments that were there about these two? Drum roll, please! Tommy Sotomayor, he didn't like the fact that white men were pissed off in the comments section being upset at this black man, which is interesting because this is what Tommy Sotomayor always talks about on his page. He talks about how violent blacks are and some of his content could even say how, you know, the world would be better off without blacks in race mixing. But Tommy has a big problem with the same people he wants to basically impress. They don't like these interracial relationships. So Tommy goes on one of these rants against white people on X. He first starts off by saying this. This is sad. How many white men showing how insecure they are. Were y'all saying this when you were forcing yourself on black slaves? Were you saying this when black women were being used by you in the 20s? Got <laughs> Wait a minute, Tommy. Are you serious? Are you now trying to be pro-black after you were out here booty clap yourselves? <laughs> working for white people. Now all of a sudden you want to take the situation and talk about what black slaves were going on and what they were doing to us. All of a sudden, like you, 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 you got to be serious, man. You're just trying to argue for the sake of arguing, but it gets even worse. You have this white person that responds to this comment. Jigga, what are you talking about? I never forced myself on a damn jigger. Now Tommy gets angry. Anger music. A two will to call me that to my face. I'm gonna believe you just a punk. Y'all do a lot of name calling online, but not in real life. LOL. Weird. Another white person in the comments says this. Tommy, I thought you were one of the sane ones, but then you put on the victim hat like the rest of the black community. You weren't a slave. Stop acting like you were as you drive around in a nice car. Victim mentality never left you, apparently. I just lost a lot of respect for you bringing the 1920s as if you were all alive. Just another victim. Now, this is interesting, right? Because these are the people that Tommy were trying to support. But now these same people are now turning on Tommy. So you know Tommy gotta get big mad, right? He gotta get real angry, right? Angry music! Dear white man who was offended by white women dating black men, shouldn't you be mad at yourself and not us? I mean, there as no black men Maybe he put this to say there was no. There was no black man raising this wayward white chick. It was you. So while you calling us the N word because she liked black meat, even though we have, I think he meant to say, you believe we have low IQ. Shouldn't you question why her high IQ self decided that black meat was more important than keeping her race pure? Doesn't that mean you did a poor job raising her? And maybe you should call her names? Stop the show, they were calling her names. What you are doing is like cussing out a dog for laying in its owner's lap. Who so happens to be kissing it in the mouth and giving it S-E-X? But oddly enough, you don't seem to mind your snow queen sleeping with things it owns. You seem to encourage it. Then Tommy starts simping for white women. Truth, white women can have any man on earth they want, not matter the race and no matter the economic level. Stop the show, this guy cannot write. 
She is desired by all men. That being said, this is why she don't complain when white men who date out of their race more than any man on earth does it. Confidence and results keep you from being a complainer. Truth, uh, sisters are always at the bottom. So this is why their false confidence allows them to always complain and dislike white chicks with a passion. True or false? His anger towards whites continues. Anger music! Black people, don't fall for those lame broke white guy tricks. Now white man, he meant to say no white man, stop the show, how are you going to be a conservative and you can't spell? No white man worth a damn is online trying to anger someone by name calling them, then trying to act like their reaction to it is the problem. White dudes with a life and a wife don't have time to call you the n-word for nothing. White incels will come to your timeline calling you a name and hope to upset you. Remember none of these dudes are saying any of this stuff to anyone's faces so just block them and move on. They need you to get angry for them to get pleasure. They taught these keys as well. So now, what Tommy is pretty much doing is taking the higher road with these whites, right? But he doesn't do that with the blacks. That's the whole entire point. And now you're seeing the wake up call that fresh and fit and all of these guys are getting. And I wanna just encourage black people to not go this route. Whenever you try to disown your own community, to go to other people's communities, you get disrespected and you can't talk any sense into them. And then once you try to do that, then they don't wanna hear that anymore because they're gonna call you a victim, which is exactly what they did, right? So he brought up a pretty good point and they were not trying to hear it and the guy said he doesn't respect them, but it's Tommy's fault, you know? These guys gotta stop simping for these white people and they do that all the time. And I'm not saying all whites are the same, I'm, I know that's not the truth, but when you stick with your own community, you won't have these issues. You see, your community may not have what the whites have, but I would argue Tommy was worth a lot more money dealing with the blacks. Once he tried to go over there and beta mail it up for the white conservatives, they basically put him in the shelf life. He's not as popular as he was anymore. Nobody cares about him anymore. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? Oh shit, we'll stop the show unless you're making money off of him like I am. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> Well, guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk? Which is for all that you do, sir, the bell. We're out. <laughs>